Uh, Shock Monkey Radio is created by adults for adults for entertainment purposes. The views and opinions expressed here do not reflect the sponsors or FXPG Public Radio. For additional information, refer to the U.S. Bill of Rights. Stand warned. Uh, but first, uh, I was I was listening to Gavin McInnes, uh, some old shows of his, and he was talking about how when he was a teenager, he would pray. He'd pray to God to give him fewer erections. And I'm just there's I think there's every little boy, every everyone who's ever been a little boy, you know, been at that age knows what you're talking about, Gavin. And this is it's something that a lot of uh, girls don't understand or know anything about is that like once you start having boners, it is like every day, like three or four times a day. And it's the smallest thing that'll set you off, you know. You know, a girl in your class comes in and you know, just gives a little bit of cleavage or something like that. <laughs> and boom, you know, for like 45 minutes, you got to deal with this, you know, blue vein throbber, you know. And you, then you're in school and stuff like that. So you got to hide it from everybody, you know, and you're all embarrassed about it and stuff like that. And maybe somebody catches a glimpse of your, your heart on and you're, Oh, uh, uh, Madman's got a boner. Madman's got a boner. You know, and then for weeks or even years, you know, especially in, you know, the age I grew up in, you know, you're, oh, you're the dude that gets boners in class. You know, it could be a girl's perfume. The girl who sits in front of you's hair, the way she moves it when she flips it or something like that. And, boom, and you're just, it's, it's like, uh, the Wayne's world was popular when I was that age. And so, uh, it's like, swing. And it was just like instantly. And it's like, boom, and we're here. <laughs> He just, I'm ready for the job. It's like, no, I'm in, uh, I'm in civics class. <laughs> I'm learning about FDR and what he, how he screwed up this country. And, it, <laughs> and so I just, I, you know, I think a lot of girls don't understand uh, what, what young boys go through, you know, and stuff like that. And that's why like having a good father was such an advantage. And it's such, it's such a shame that so many boys are growing up. Now, without a father to help them deal with this thing, it's like, Dad, you know, <laughs> four or five times a day, I'm rock hard, you know, because, you know, a, a good father will will teach his son uh, the proper and ethical way to deal with the fact that your your uh, men are built to reproduce, you know, to <laughs> impregnate, you know, and so uh, there's there and there's moral and ethical things that comes with that in, in uh, along with that. And it's like. Just every time you get a boner doesn't mean you should need, you need to do something with it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's very simple, very simple things that young men need to know when they're growing up. And it's a shame that so many young boys are growing up these days without that kind of uh, fatherly influence in their lives. You know, and so, you know, young, these young boys who grow up, you know, living with their mom, they're not going to talk to their mom about their boners. You know? And if they do, somebody yeah. Social yeah. And if they do, then they're going to end up on Pornhub or something like that. <laughs> you know so i mean it's it's super it, it's super important for young boys to grow up uh with a father to, so that they they're they're taught about the ethics it's like you know uh just because you have a boner doesn't mean you you're in love with a girl you know you know it you know, pretty much any girl can give you a boner or something like that doesn't mean that's not love you know <laughs> and you know it's it's uh and also like like not to be too aggressive about it about you know you, you, when you're dancing with a girl and you get a boner or something like that you don't get too close you know don't just ram it in there and say like, you know what i'm talking about you know it's very simple things that you know keep these young boys from growing up to being creeps or sexual assaulters and stuff like that is incredibly important and so i was uh, i was listening to that podcast and i thought back to my days in middle school and high school when it was just <sighs> every day every day you know, it's like that that first girl in your class to grow tits. You know, it's like, oh my god! It's like every single dude in the class is like, "What's happening to my body?" You know, some poor guys pass out because they don't know what's happening and the blood flow and just like, "What's that?" I knew. Uh, usually, uh, I I don't want to put these guys on blast, but usually guys with big dicks, they're the ones that pass out. <laughs> if a guy passes out, uh, getting a boner, it's like, ooh. But the, but the problem is, is that it's probably hard for him to stay conscious with it. <laughs> so it, oh, it's like a double-edged sword, you know what I'm saying? It's too big for your own good. But, you know, I'm lucky I never had that problem. <laughs> <So> <laughs> but, I mean, I just – it's it's way different now that to, that I'm in my 40s. It takes quite quite a bit of concentration. Oh, <laughs> 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 
That's what that's what uh, that's what you do if you're a smart kid. Is like you'll start passing out. And it's like what happened? Oh, I got a boner. <laughs> well, it's so it's so big, you know. That's what you need to do, teenager guys. So you spread that rumor about yourself. It's so big, he passes out, and just pretend to pass out every now and then. <laughs> yeah, the cheerleaders are in their. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, uh, they have a game that day, and so to promote the game, they come in their outfits and stuff like that, and then poof, fall out of your chair, I fall out of your desk. What happened to him? And it's like, oh, the cheerleaders came in. <laughs> Which I thought, you know, I think that was kind of ridiculously cruel that they would do that to teenage boys and have the teenage girls dress in like uh, their cheerleader outfits and come and sit like right next to you cro with their legs crossed and stuff like right next to you. It's like, there is no way I'm learning any algebra today. Very strict dress code. Yeah. Unless you're on the team. Well, I mean, I think that's the argument for dress codes. I'm not saying that women should hide their bodies or something like that. But when you're a teenage boy, when I'm 40 or something like that, you can wear provocative stuff and I won't be distracted because I know how to focus now. Plus, you know, it's not three or four boners every day just because some girl has a nice perfume, you know. But when you're a kid, when you're like 14, you're like, Ugh, who cares about Animal Farm? I don't understand this. <laughs> God, that, that book is so awful. Anyway.